Hello everyone, I'm here bringing you another RenPy tutorial. This is part three of the gallery tutorial. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some information, some annotation to our gallery. Um, so this is going to be a second grid and for info. I'm going to make a grid max num x max num y just like before. X fill true y fill true then I'm gonna do for i in range it's gonna be the same range as the other one and plus one I'm going to make an h box and in that h box I'm going to align it at 0.5 and 0 0.1 and then I am going to make a total equals gallery items of i dot num images so that's how many images we have total and partial equals gallery items of i dot num unlocked if you remember that's set in the gallery set every time we refresh the lock so that'll count how many we have unlocked and then we're going to do text gallery items i dot name and we're going to add, make some spacing. Spacing is going to be max thumb x minus 70. And I'm doing that just so it'll take up most of the space. And then so we have text partial over total and da, 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 da. after that we have four I in range and this is gonna be the same as the null one I'm gonna change this around a little bit I'm gonna change instead of having start plus over here I'm going to minus start over here so this is saying, this is how many we have on this page. So I think it's a little bit more explicit that way. The, but they are equivalent. Minus start plus one, max per page, no. All right, let's see how that looks. Oh, I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna open the script and I'm gonna unlock a couple images. So I'm gonna say image, scene image one, and down here, I'm going to say scene image two. So that should halfway unlock the image one and totally unlock the image two. Let's see what happens. So if I do this right now, it shows that I don't have any because I haven't actually gone through it. But if I go through it, then I have this lovely picture here and I have this lovely picture here and I go back and I go to the gallery and it says I have one out of two unlocked for image one and one out of one unlocked for image two and we can see the thumbnail. Now it doesn't do anything yet because we haven't added that functionality in, but it will when we get to it. And you can see from this that these really are different images because they have different names. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is create a close-up screen. It's going to be a totally different screen. Gallery close-up. And it's going to take some images. I'm going to say add 
images close up page at true center just in case they're not the quite the right size and if we look in gallery setup we have this close up page equals zero that we did earlier so it's going to start at the first one at least at the beginning then we need a return button And the action is going to be, we're actually going to have two actions. We are going to set variable close up page to zero. And the reason we are resetting it to zero is that if we end up with three when we go back, we don't want to start with three later for something else that might not even have that many images. So we always want to start at zero because we're guaranteed, at least if you're doing it right, that there's going to be at least one image in the images list. So zero is safe. Nothing else is. Nothing else is guaranteed. Okay, so that's the first action. And the second action is going to be hide the screen. So hide gallery close up with dissolve. And we're going to X align that at 0 0.5 and Y align that at 0 0.98. And feel free to make styles if you want to make this less typing. Then we need our previous and next buttons if they apply. So I'm going to say if close up page is greater than zero, then we need a text button for previous. Action set variable close up page to close up page minus one. X align 0 0.1, Y align 0 0.98. And I'm going to give these guys a background as well, just because it'll be easier to see. And I'm going to do that for this one too. Obviously, you'll probably be using image buttons for this anyway, so you'll make them look however you want. If, and this is going to be easier than that other mess over here. We are going to just say if close up page is less than length of images minus one. So if we're not on the last page, then we'll have a next. Action set variable close up page to close up page plus one. X align 0 0.9, Y align 0.98, background black. Okay, so then how are we going to actually call this close up? We are going to, in our original grid for images, instead of having just this picture here, we're going to make it an image button. So image button idle that action show so that's going to show their screen gallery close up with dissolve gallery items sub i dot images And that should call it with the images that we want. And as long as everything is good, we should try it out and see what happens. So let's look at the gallery, it's there, it shows up, 
we can return. This looks ugly, but yours will look pretty, I'm sure. And we can return to there. So just to illustrate, I'm going to add into the script, I'm going to add a scene for image 1B, which is the second part of image 1, the image 1 item. And so then when we run this, we should be able to access image 1, and you'll be able to see it flip back and forth between the images in the close-up. So let's start, we'll go through it. There's my pretty bird. Then I go to the gallery. Now image one is unlocked. Uh-oh, looks like I spelled set variable wrong. Okay. Set variable variable. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, so our gallery image one is still unlocked. There it shows us the first one. Now we can go to the next one. There's the next one. Now we can go to the previous one. We can go back and forth as many times as we wish and return from wherever to the main gallery. And that's about it. Um, obviously, you would want to add in scenes with your other images at some point so that they can get unlocked. Um, if you want to add extra conditions to whether something gets unlocked or not, it's really simple. All you have to do is in the gallery setup, you will add some condition here in the constructor and you will basically say self.locked equals, uh, right here, this will be lock me equals and then whether the condition is true or false. Uh, it'll be the not of the condition if the condition is for unlocking. So if you want to only show this if ending such and such has been reached, then you would say, then you would say lock me equals this expression for the condition and that's it. Um, so that's that's all you need to do. It, um, alternatively, you could create your own function pointer so that would evaluate each time, and that could make even more customization. But it's not really. I don't think it's really necessary. I think this is a pretty good gallery. Um, once it has nice images and a nice background and nice text buttons or image buttons for the text and all that jazz. So go ahead and feel free to use this. I hope that you found it helpful and I hope you can make some really nice image galleries now.